Hello, peeps. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. So, it's all over the news. It's all over social media. It's that vessel, that submarine that was out there exploring the Titanic and five people died, right? So, when I go on social media and I read the comments, people do not know what an implosion is. People have no idea who Ocean Gate is. So I'm going to give you a little bit of history, also a little bit of conspiracy, and I'm going to explain to you what an implosion is. To understand the story of Ocean Gate, we must first go back to its origins. The company was founded in 2009 by Stockton Rush, a visionary entrepreneur with a passion for ocean exploration. Ocean Gate's mission was to unlock the mysteries of the deep ocean and make it accessible to a wider audience. Ocean Gate's breakthrough came in the form of their innovative submersible called Cyclops. Unlike traditional deep sea exploration vessels, Cyclops was designed to accommodate more than just scientists and researchers. It was built with the purpose of enabling civilians, including adventurous tourists and thrill seekers to experience the wonders of the deep sea firsthand. Ocean Gate's first major expedition took place in 2013 when Cyclops ventured to the wreck of the RMS Titanic. This history shipwreck, lying deep beneath the North Atlantic Ocean, had fascinated people for decades, but only a few had ever witnessed this haunting beauty up close. The success of the Titanic expedition propelled Ocean Gate into the spotlight. It became a go-to company for deep-sea exploration missions, offering not only cutting-edge technology, but also a unique opportunity for individuals to become part of these remarkable adventures. As OceanGate continued to gain momentum, they set their sights on even more ambitious goals. They collaborated with leading marine and marine researchers and organizations to explore previously uncharted areas of the ocean and discover new marine species. Cyclops became a platform for scientific discovery, re revolutionizing the way we understand and explore the vast underwater world. One of Ocean, Ocean Gate's notable achievements was the exploration of the Andrea Doria, an Italian luxury liner that sank off the coast of Nantucket in 1956. This challenging mission demonstrated the capabilities of Cyclops and Ocean Gate's dedication to uncovering marine time history. Over the years, Ocean Gate has amazed an impressive list of accomplishments. They have documented countless shipwrecks, explored mysterious underwater caves, and even discovered new underwater archaeological sites. Each expedition has pushed the boundaries on what we know about the ocean and its hidden treasures. However, Ocean Gate's impact extends beyond exploration. They have been actively involved in ocean conservation initiatives, promoting awareness, and the importance of preserving marine ecosystems. So that's a little bit about Ocean Gate. Now, let's jump into a conspiracy, right? The conspiracy theory suggests that Ocean Gate's deep sea expeditions and submersibles serve a hidden agenda. Some theorists, theorists, sorry, that the company is not solely focused on exploration and scientific research, but instead act as a front for clandestine activities. One popular claim is that Ocean Gate submersibles, like Cyclops, are involved in covert operations such as underwater espionage or the retrieval of classified objects from the ocean floor. Proponents of this theory argue the company's expeditions to shipwrecks and underwater archaeological sites are merely cover-ups of their true undisclosed missions. Another aspect of this conspiracy revolves around the idea that Ocean Gate possesses advanced technology or knowledge that surpasses what is publicly known. Theorists argue that the company may have made secret discoveries or encounter extraterrestrial phenomena during their deep sea expeditions, which they are concealing from the 
Republic. That's one conspiracy. So now, what is an implosion? Okay, that's what people keep asking. What is an implosion? What the heck's going on? It's I know what an explosion is, but what's happening? What is that? An implosion of deep sea submarine refers to the catastrophic collapse of the vessel due to external water at great depths in the ocean. Deep sea submarines, also known as submersibles, are specially designed to withstand the intense pressure exerted by the surrounding water at significant depths. As a submarine descends deeper into the ocean, the water pressure increases exponentially. If a submarine is not constructed to withstand these extreme pressures, or if it exceeds its operational limits, it can lead to structural failure or collapse. This collapse is commonly referred to as implosion. During an implosion, the external pressure of the submarine exceeds the internal pressure, causing the hull or other components to buckle and collapse inward. This rapid collapse can be catastrophic and can result in destruction of the submarine and the potential loss of life. That is what they're talking about right now. To prevent implosion, deep sea submarines are built with strong materials such as grade such as a high-grade steel or titanium. They undergo rig rigorous testing and are designed to withstand the pressure at specific depths. Submersibles also employ various engineering techniques, such as a spherical or cylindrical shapes, to distribute pressure more evenly and reinforce structural integrity. So, what is the Cyclops made of, right? Because people are asking, like, well, what the hell is it made out of? What the heck's going on? The Cyclops submersible developed by OceanGate was primarily constructed using high-grade steel and other advanced materials. Steel is common is a common choice for submersibles. Submersible black. It is a common choice for submersible construction due to its strengths durability, and the ability to withstand the pressures encountered in deep sea environments. These precise specifications and composition of the Cyclops submersible may vary based on its specific design and construction details. However, deep sea submersibles typically utilize steel alloys that are resistant to corrosion and have, and have high tensile strength to withstand the extreme pressures experience at great depths so that being said there's a little bit of there's a little bit of history there's a little bit of conspiracy and, and i explained to you what an implosion is and uh, all i gotta say is whatever happened down there if this is a conspiracy if these people are hiding if they can't find the bodies or all this stuff that's coming out whatever happened we also we have to realize that Going into a little small submarine and going down there and and looking at the Titanic firsthand is something that is a great achievement. No matter what this thing was made out of, no matter what this guy was using, if it was a $5 controller to operate this thing or if he used carbon fiber, whatever he used, this was a great achievement. This is going to go down in history as, you know, this guy was able to take people down to look at the Titanic. I mean, if you had $250,000 and you were a billionaire, you would probably think about it. You would probably go, hmm. You also have to remember that when you're exploring, there is a risk. There's always a risk. It doesn't matter if you're exploring the deep sea, if you're exploring the jungle, if wherever you're at, right, an exploration, there is a risk of something happening to you, losing your life, getting injured, getting lost. All this stuff happens, right? So this is part of the game. You want to be able to explore places where no other people have ever explored or other people can explore. So you go and you do it, but you know that there is a risk 
that you might not make it out of there. And that's why people like these individuals that were on board, these people are thrill seekers, right? They want to be able to go look at the Titanic. They have the money to go look at it. That's why people climb Mount Everest. They climb it because it's an achievement. It's a goal. It's something that not everybody can do, right? Not everybody can climb Mount Everest. Not everybody can go look at the Titanic. None of that stuff, right? So this is something that these people thrive for in their life. It's exciting, right? If one of the things that I would do if I was filthy rich is I would think about climbing Mount Everest. Why not? Now, going into the deep sea in a small capsule where there's no way to get out, you're bolted into this freaking little submarine in the ocean. I don't know. I mean, it's just it's a lot different than being out there, right? Uh, obviously, they they both have they they're they're both dangerous. But being trapped in a capsule where you can't even escape is a whole different story. It's completely different. It's scary. It's dark down there. Even if you were to escape and there was a way to leave the capsule, you would be screwed. You wouldn't make it. You wouldn't make it at all. So it's tough, right? It's really, really tough. But these people, this guy, right? Stockton Rush was able to make this thing and was able to take people down. And was able to explore places where none of us can ever do. And that is that is a big, big achievement. So whatever the critics say, whatever the story is, if they were, oh, this guy was cheap and he didn't do the safety protocols and blah, blah, all the stories that you read online, it doesn't matter. They went down there and they looked, they went and saw the Titanic. 13, 14,000 feet, right? 13, 14,000 feet. That is insane to me. That is insane. But they did it. And like I said, this is going to go down as uh, a very tragic moment in history. But also, look at all the stuff that these people were able to do with that little vessel, right? With that submersible. It's it's incredible. It's an incredible thing. And uh you know, it takes people like that that are willing to take the risk, that are willing to risk it all to go to a place where not everybody can go. Hopefully you like this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell a friend, share it, all that stuff. Until next time, peace.